today's class. Today's mathematics class, our focus is not just on a particular mass topic. We'll be looking at those topics that you need to know. There are certain topics that WAYEC, NECO, JAM, UTME, all these examinations. There are certain topics that must come at every year. So if you, as you are preparing for your exam, I want to show you those topics that you should focus on. There are about 12 topics that you should not play with. In today's class, we'll be looking at them one by one. This is just more, more or less like an ESCO for you. Number one topic everyone should look at is simplification. This topic comes out both in the objective and in the theory aspect. If you are writing Nebu, if you are writing Mayek, if you are writing Jam, you should master your simplification. Simplification questions are always things like... Let's look at this question. Things like 10 row number, 2 over 5, minus 6 row number, 2 over 3, plus 3. Questions like this, we will not be solving them. But before I tell you the next topic to focus on, try and solve this and tell me the answer in the comment section. It's more like an assignment for you. So, if you are writing Wayek, Nego, Jam and other examinations, make sure, once mathematics is concerned, make sure you spend time to understand simplification. It must come out. Remember, if you are part of our channel, go to our videos. You will see that we have treated topics in simplification. The next topic that must come out once Wayek, Neko, external examinations are concerned is trigonometry. Trigonometry. Trigonometry are those questions that involve triangles. If you are writing any of these standard examinations, be sure, be sure to understand and focus your attention in trigonometry. If you buy a textbook, if you buy any book, my past question, Nico past question, you will see that there is a lot of trigonometry questions inside this different aspect of questions on trigonometry. Let me just give you a little example. Look at this. Look at this. Say this. This is an example of a question on trigonometry. So this kind of questions are little and one thing you should know that Wayak Neko, they repeat questions. So, as you are preparing for your Wayak Neko channel examination, make sure that you focus also on trigonometry. The third topic I want you to focus on as you are preparing for your exam is circle geometry. Circle. This one comes out every year. You are sure that it will come out. You are sure. Before we go to the next. Um, topic that will come out. Let me give you an example of a question in circle geometry. Questions like this, um, like this one, uh, something like this. There are just many of them. Something like this. We will not be solving them right now, but of course you should pay attention to them. I'm giving you these examples so that you know that these questions come out every year. So focus on circle geometry. Before we go to the fourth one, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, kindly subscribe right now. Invite your classmates your friends to subscribe. The reason why you should subscribe is subscribing will help you to see more of our tutorials and to follow them. So go ahead right now and subscribe. The next area, topic that will come out in the next one is 
bearing, he must have known this. Bearing and distances. This is one of our favorite topics. Of course, we have videos on it in our channel. This topic must come up whether a man, uh, I mean, so long as mass is concerned, whether a wired neco jam, GCE, UTM, screen examinations, it always comes out every year. It always comes out. Let, let's look at an example of a question in getting on this dance. This um, like I said, it comes out every year. Once you go to your wire pass question, you will see a lot of questions on this topic. Okay, look at a question like this. This is wire 2020, 2010. It says, 2010 question 2B says, Tan B and Q are X kilometers apart. Two motorists set out at the same time from P to Q at a steady speed of 60 km per hour and 80 km per hour. The faster motor is got to Q 30 minutes earlier than the other. Find the value of X. So questions like this are under all under bearing and distances. So as we're preparing for this examination, just know that bearing and distances must come out. The next that will come out is probability. This one comes out both in the objective and in the theory. So as you are studying for your mathematics in this examination, also focus on probability question. Then another one that you cannot escape is sorts. Sorts always come out both in uh, theory, objective, both wired neutral term. So focus your attention on sorts. We have said number one, simplification. Number two, trigonometry. Number three, circle geometry. Number four, bearing and distances. Number five, probability. Number six, source. Remember that in our YouTube channel, we take this topic gradually, one after the other. So aside these six topics, there are six other topics that I also want you to pay attention to. Something like number seven, Longitude and latitude. This one comes out every year, especially in the theory. You cannot escape it. So, longitude and latitude comes out yearly, every year. You should expect a question from this. An example, let's see if we can find an example on um, it. On longitude and latitude. Okay, let's look at this question. Number eight, 2005. Like I said, this aspect comes out every day. We have a question like this A plane flies due east from A at latitude 53 degrees north, longitude 25 degrees east, to a point B, latitude 53 degrees north, longitude 85 degrees east, at an average speed of 400 km per hour. The plane then flies south from B to a point C, 200 km away. Calculate correct to the nearest whole number, A, the distance between A and B. B, the time the plane takes to reach point B, C, the latitude of C, take the radius of the air to be 640 km and pi to be 22 over 7. These questions come at every year. Every year. So look at it and master it. The next kind of topic that must, you should expect in your next exam is, is angle of elevation. and the pressure. This one must come out every year in mathematics. Angle of elevation and the pressure. So get yourself ready for them. Of course, I don't need to remind you that graph. 
graph comes out every year. So get yourself appointed with the method of solving graph questions. The next one that will come out every year is construction. Construction. Construction must come out every year. Construction must come out every year. Okay? Then we have 11. We have quadratic equations. Of course, we already have, you already know the three methods of solving quadratic equations. We have simultan uh, I think elimination method, graphical method, and uh, substitution method. We'll look at them. There are topics in our YouTube channel, thank God you are here, that covers these methods. Then, of course, the last but not the least is indices and logarithms. I've just given you 12 topics to focus on as we prepare for your examinations. Number one, I said simplification, trigonometry, uh, circle geometry, bearing and distances, probability, source, longitude and latitude, angles of elevation and depression, graph, construction, quadratic equation, indices, and logarithm. Now, what I've done for you is to give you those topics to focus on. These topics must come out in this examination. So as you prepare, as you read, as you make your research, as you go to school, as you attend the lesson, as you follow the videos in this our channel, focus on these 12 topics that will come out. If you have not subscribed to our channel, just click on subscribe right now. If you have questions on any of these topics, uh, go ahead to, uh, to ask us in the comment section. Like I, I will always say, there are a lot of videos on the channel. We have handled some classes on this topic. So look at the videos, go to the videos on the channel already, watch them, ask your questions, and God will bless you.